The light on your Dupre Need Steam Cleaner turns green, you press the button on the wand, and no steam comes out of the nozzle. You're thinking, the unit feels warm, what's going on? Now you're frustrated because it was your designated cleaning day. But don't worry, the steamer isn't likely broken, it's just clogged. I'm going to show you how to fix it. And it's as easy as descaling the unit, which you need to do because, like me, you probably put the thing away for a few weeks and haven't descaled it in a while. Dupre recommends descaling the unit after 20 hours of use, or less depending on how hard your water is. And it doesn't matter if you've been steaming with tap or distilled water, you still have to descale it. Oh. And I didn't realize that. Before I show you the process, just a quick but important warning. If you heat up the steamer and no steam comes out when the button on the wand is depressed, turn off the steamer and unplug it. However, do not remove the cap for at least an hour so the water and boiler have a chance to cool. I actually recommend waiting longer. Because the steamer's clogged, there's a lot of pressure in the tank. If you start unscrewing the cap too soon, steam's gonna shoot out and it's gonna burn you. Not to mention the pressure rushing out after the slightest twist of the cap will make a whistle like a tea kettle after which you're gonna be running away, flailing your arms like that kid in Home Alone. Kevin. <laughs> All right, maybe that was just me. So once the unit is cooled, empty out any remaining water. And just keep in mind that because there's a clog where the hose attaches to the unit, air only has one way to escape out of the tank. If you turn the tank completely upside down, the water won't come out very easily. Best to empty it at an angle. Once most of the water's out, you can shake the unit a little and get out any remaining water. You'll also probably see this stuff. That's mineral buildup. And it may have even cleared the clog. The Prey recommends allowing the unit to cool for at least eight hours before descaling. Then with the unit unplugged and completely cooled, you add a maximum of 17 fluid ounces of equal parts water and white vinegar. So basically a little more than one cup of each. And you never want to use vinegar without diluting it with water or add the descaling solution to the tank until the unit is at room temperature. With the cap off, you let the solution sit in the tank overnight. And the next day you depress the button on the wand, empty the tank, rinse it with fresh water. I put in the tank's max of 40 fluid ounces drain it, and then I rinse it again. And if you're still seeing particles, you may even want to rinse it again. Basically until you don't see any more hard water deposits coming out. One way to check whether the clog is cleared without turning on the steamer is to take notice of how quickly the water goes in. If it drains in slowly with the trigger depressed, you'll need to repeat the descaling process again. With a little water in the tank, another trick you can do to determine if the clog is cleared is to depress the trigger and blow into the end of the wand. If you hear bubbles or this noise, the clog is cleared. Then it's time to get back to cleaning. So two things to take away from this video are, first, take notice of how quickly the water drains into the tank, and if depressing the button on the wand doesn't make it go in faster, there's a clog. In which case, don't even bother turning on the unit, just descale it. And secondly, you'll want to descale often. If you're not going to use the steamer for more than a week or so, you know, descale it before you store it, and that way it's ready to go the next time that you are. If this information's been helpful, please do me a favor and hit that like button as if your scheduled cleaning day got derailed by a clogged steamer and subscribe if you like. Thanks for watching. Did you hit that subscribe button? Turn on the notifications bell? Of course you have, because you know that I try not to leave my subscribers hanging. If I've reviewed a product and subsequently had an issue with it, you know I'll try to post a follow-up with some solutions or at least give you some troubleshooting tips. All right, until next time.